it's a bumper with traffic, the car parks are full, there is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station, and we expect every seat to be filled, an atmosphere of great expectation and excitement. Well, this really is a great venue, it adds so much character to every game it stages. Just joining us, we are already on the way. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Diego Ford could be the star man. I've always admired his enthusiasm and energy, and despite his versatility, he's a, he's a mean finisher too. Every so often, he unleashes something spectacular, so I'd say watch out for him. Yeah, the easiest way to make a difference is to score, so no argument there. And he's there to cut it out. Goes for goal! There it is! What a simple finish in the end. What do you think, Jim? It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't need them. They paid the price and deserved it. Deadlock broken. It's 1-0. It's so often the case with goal scorers, little influence, and all of a sudden, bang. Van Basten, he's got options out wide. Has a goal! It's in! Time and space to plenty, he is never going to miss. Well, considering he has a bit of a, a shoot on sight policy, he was the one player that should have been picked up then. It was both careless and costly from the right set of the And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, there's resilience for you, Peter. As a side, they never lost focus despite the setback. And this is thoroughly merited for me. Now they can go one better, possibly. Forlan. Scores. Okay. Oh, well intercepted, really alerts the danger. Van Basten needed to come up with a better ball. Clearly is missed having made the run and not get picked out. Here's Van Basten. Van Basten really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. For a throw in. And it's Griezmann. And oh, that's too long. Sorry. It's half time, but it has been an even contest as the scoreline suggests. And it has been more than decent to watch. Any strong opinions on the first half? That was a fantastic 45 minutes of football. I'm really hopeful of more of the same in the second half. So, both teams heading off for the break. An interesting game has brewed up here. Hoping perhaps for a little bit more from both parties in the second half. But the score at half time is 1 1. Just back from your break, which is very little of the resumption of the second half. Mateus drives it forward. He's to get it forward quickly. Now it's Paul Oh, that's a fine challenge. And it's played forward. Yes. Point. back in. Ball out. And the finish! Ball count goes looking. Who's ball? Who's going to get that? Mateus. Yeah. Troy. Back into the middle. 
Van Basten plays it out to the wing. Will be a throw in. timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Now it's Messi. Now it's Aubameyang. Maldini positions himself well and cuts it out. And it's Van Basten. It has got through to him. Goes for goal. He scores! And the comeback is complete. An exhibition in how to finish with a minimum of cross. Sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. So we have a breakthrough. Now, how will things develop from here? He's gone for it! He can count on that. Oh, denied brilliantly! Memphis the Pike is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. Stitch defending, but that'll do. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. Kick. I've been thinking lately it's just me against the ball. Some questions were asked. He's given the answers. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but will they? We sit high. Oh, what a ball! And they think...